Hi, I'm Annabelle Langbein and I'm stoked to announce my new online recipe series. I've developed it hand in hand with Sanford and Sons. It's called Catch to Cook and that's exactly what goes on. We're cooking with the freshest local seafood on offer and making some simple, delicious recipes for friends and family. Ceviche, otherwise known as Kokoda. It's a dish that makes every day taste like summer and I'm using beautiful mullet to make it with. This is what the Polynesians use by choice because it's just so sweet and really tender. So what I want to do is I've got no bones in here. I'm just going to cut it into about one centimetre pieces. The thing is, the smaller you cut it, the more quickly it's going to marinate. So now you can use lemon or lime juice. I've already got some squeezed, but we'll just keep going here. So you just want enough lemon or lime juice in there, but the fish can move around freely in the juice. It's going to take about 20 minutes or up to an hour. Just pop that in the fridge. Now while that fish is marinating, I'm going to make the salad. And you can play around here. I'm using tomatoes. You could use mango. I'm using avocado. If it's expensive, you can leave it out. It's really that sort of idea that the fish is the hero and you can put whatever other flavours you like in. Avocado. Spring onion. You could use a red onion as well. So these are quite a mild chilli. This kind of a chilli, I'll probably use half a chilli. Some coriander. We're in the fortunate position to be at the boys from the fishing vessel Tarpina, and they're in the process of hauling their first line, and uh, we look like we've got a few good snapper coming into the slurry. A keep snapper, what does it, that mean? It's the means of killing them. So basically it's a spike directly to the fish's brain, yep. which instantly kills the fish. What this means is that the fish is in the best possible condition. No stress. No stress, no lactic acid buildup. Go straight into ice cold slurry. So rather than regular ice, you mix it with salt water or seawater. And what that does, it means it holds it cold. And it also means that the fish is fully encased in cold water. So it gets that temperature down really fast. much faster yeah. than just for standard yeah, yeah, yeah. ice. Because that actually is the key to freshness, isn't it? Keeping it really cold. Good fish, most important thing is cool chain. Getting yep. that fish cold as soon as possible. Yep. And then keeping it cold right through to the consumer. So now my fish is cooked. And you can just see how it's changed colour. So it's actually white as if it was cooked. So what I'm going to do is just drain it. So I don't need that lemon juice in there and then add that to my salad. So if you're having this in South America, it'd just be tossed together like this, with maybe a little bit of extra lime juice. But I'm gonna give it a Pacific flavor by adding a little bit of coconut cream, probably about half a cup, and one of those ingredients that you wouldn't know was in there, fish sauce, full of umami, so it gives that depth of flavor. So probably about a tablespoon of that. Don't want too much, it's quite strong. And then a wee bit of salt and pepper. Now we're just gonna to toss it all together. How good does that look? Mm, so good! So to finish it off, some toasted coconut flakes. And some little salad cups on the side and everyone can just help themselves. Dishes like this always make people feel relaxed because you kind of help yourself, nobody's made you the plate that you don't want, you serve yourself as much as you like. It's just a great way to eat. It feels really informal and friendly. Now that has to be the simplest Pacific feast I've ever made. How delicious. Fresh ceviche! Yeah. Party nice. time! Yeah, wow. That looks amazing.
download this recipe and then you can use it over and over. Visit the Sanford & Sons website for this and many other recipes and lots of tips and inspiration.